I'm here with Howard Gratz at the US Pro XCT Finals in Missoula, Montana. He is fresh off winning the Cat 1 race, kicked all the butts of all the older riders and all the other juniors. And um, just last weekend, you were in Sun Valley, Idaho, winning the Junior National Cross Country Mountain Bike Championships. Can you give us a little overview of that race and how it went for you? Yeah, sure. Um, Keegan and I uh, really started off from the very beginning because Keegan was pushing it really hard. Um, so it was us two on that uh, steep climb in Sun Valley. Mm -hmm. And then on the second lap, I, I kind of attacked him a bit and got maybe a 30 second gap. Mm -hmm. And then we kept that gap and then he gained even a little bit towards the end, mm -hmm. uh, coming like on that last bit of the climb and on the switchbacks coming down. Great, well, it seems like you're on a roll. You won the Wyndham World Cup and then won at uh, Mountain Bike Nationals and now winning here at Missoula. Um, what's what's been different for you this season? What's making that difference in you're doing so well? Um, well, unlike last season, I'm doing a little more structured training, um, but similar to last season, just still enjoying being on the bike and mm -hmm. riding as much as possible. So mm -hmm. it just makes all the difference. Cool. Um, so you, you're in your final year as a junior, and a little bit more of this season to go, and then next year. Can you tell us kind of what you see looking ahead to the rest of this year and next year? Um, yeah, at the end of August this year, I'll be in Champery uh, for the World Championships um, as a junior, so that's just going to be a really great experience. Mm -hmm. And then for next year, uh, I'll be starting as a U23 and mm -hmm. racing with the pros in some races as well. Uh, so I'm just going to keep riding and having fun mm -hmm. uh, and just, just see how it goes. Great. So um, tell us, what's the secret? Why are there so many um, fast riders coming out of Durango? Oh, I, I, I think I could definitely attribute it to the Durango Devo program that uh, we've got going there. Mm -hmm. um, it's like it started with seven riders mm -hmm. like three or four years ago, and now it has over 220 kids in it. Um, so just getting all kinds of riders involved with riding and just enjoying being on their bike. Great. So they're kind of funneling through the, the pipeline and uh -huh. becoming fast as they do it. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for joining us today and good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you.